syndicating your content from Google+. Hi, my name is Krishna Day. You will find me online at bizgrowthnews.com and also facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day. If you've just got yourself started in Google+, you might want to also have a look at my previous video. But in this one, I want to talk about how you might decide to share content from Google Plus to other locations. In the content that you share, you can make a decision about who gets access to it. And for example, here in terms of this piece of content, I said it was public and I could go back and edit it. I could delete it, but also I could disable comments or also disable the fact that other people resharing my content. Taking a look at this earlier piece of content here, um, I actually had made it limited, so I'm only sending it to a circle of contacts. So one option is obviously if I make my content available, I actually can do something in terms of making sure that I get the link to the post and actually then posting it out to different locations. But what about some other things that you could do? Well, if you're operating in Chrome, there is a plugin that you can add. And in fact, it's allowed me then to get this piece of content coming up in terms of here on any piece of content that I'm sharing, let's say in terms of the link, because it gives me the opportunity to send it also to Twitter and to Facebook. So that's a plugin you'll find within Google Chrome. Um, I haven't found it for any other platform as yet. It would share it to Twitter and it would share it to your personal profile over on Facebook. What about other places that you might want to share it? Well, you might want to come back to content that you've come across and perhaps bookmark it for later. So you could do so, let's say, for example, with Instapaper or in fact with bookmarking tools like Evernote. So how do you do that? Let's go and have a look at actually setting that up. The first thing you're going to do is create a new circle. And so, for example, one of the places that you might want to send it to is perhaps your blog. And so I actually can send it, set it up here in terms of, let's say, I've got a, a posterous blog. I want to send my content there. Equally, I've also set it up for Instapaper and also for Evernote, my bookmarking tools as well. What I can do then is add a person. What you get is a an email address in terms of a private email address with any of the tools that you use. So actually you could type in here your private email address, particularly in terms of Instapaper, Posterous, and also, also Evernote, they all give you private email addresses. Remember to hit the return button and then you have to name it something. So I'm left, just left it as Posterous for this moment in time. One of the great things about Posterous is that you could also syndicate it out to different places as well. So for example, you could use this as a way to syndicate it also to Twitter, because in fact, what happens is that you get a special email address that allows you to also not just send it to Posterous, Posterous, but also Posterous and Twitter, or Posterous and Twitter and Flickr, or any multitude of those. So you could put that in there. So I'm just going to save this as an address, and then that's all I need to do, and we create that as a circle with that one account in it. So as an example, I'm just sharing here the Chrome plugin to share on Google Plus content to Twitter and Facebook. I've added in the link here. I can add it there. I can also remove the description. What I'd really like to see happen is, as we get with Facebook, a bit, an opportunity to put some customized content in there. That would be really terrific. And then I can say, where do I want it to be shared with? So I could then start to type in that I want it to go to, let's say, my Toposterous account, my Evernote bookmark. I actually might want it to also share over to Instapaper. So they're just three of the different places that I might want to have share content shared. And once I've done that, I can then make it shareable. You have to make sure you click to say also email these three people because they're not on Google Plus. So I can share that content to people. Um, in fact, it doesn't even have to be through bookmarking. It could be individuals in my network I want to share with. And then I would go ahead and share it. So I hope that's given you some ideas about how do you can syndicate content from Google Plus over to other places that you are online. Come on over and leave me your thoughts and tips about things that you're finding helpful and good workarounds in, t in terms of using Google Plus over at facebook.com forward slash Krishna Day.